Okay, in this short video, we're going to review the design tab and how the design system works inside of the e-commerce web store. So first off, we click the settings link and then we click the design tab. Now, before we actually get into this, it's important that you put your site in demo mode if it's not already in demo mode. Okay, so if we click on the basic tab, we look and see the site is not in demo mode. So I'm going to put the site in demo mode by typing true and then hitting save. And from here, we'll go to the design tab and we'll now choose a new site design. So it says adjust your current design settings below or click here to choose a new design template. We call our designs design templates because the intention is that you will further customize the design. Some of the designs are ready to go right out of the box, but some of them will require some customization by you or your web designer before you can use them. All right, so to change the design template, we can simply scroll back and forth. For example, if I want to choose this one, I can click it and then you can see it saves it. Now, if I click close and I leave this tab and I go to just the design itself and I hit refresh, because my site is in demo mode, um, it should actually remember what I just did or the or the change that I just made. So for example, you can see here I've changed it. Now if I go back and we change a design, let's say to or change the design template to this one, it will change and it will stick. If I now go back to the store and then I refresh it, you'll see that it uses this design template. All right, now let's go back to the dashboard and we go to the dashboard by putting in the page store setup and back to the design tab. All right, so you just saw how you actually change the store design and as a reminder, the store must be in demo mode for it to stick, okay? If your store is not in demo mode and you use the um, the choose design page or you, or you change the design, it'll let you preview it, but it won't stick or it won't remember it. Okay, we do that on purpose so that uh, you don't accidentally change your store design when it's live just by looking at the design templates. So if your store is in production and you want to change the design to a different design template, you would click this, okay, and you would choose whichever design you want and then hit save. All right, so I just chose the iframe. Now, that's that. Okay, now let's review some of the additional settings. Store logo. I think it's pretty obvious what happens here. If you want to assign a logo to your store, you click Upload Logo. It'll bring you to this page. Okay, you go find the logo on your hard drive, and then you click Upload Image, and it will automatically attach the logo to your store. And anywhere that uh, your logo should be displayed, it will simply be displayed. Now. Based on the store design that you choose, you might have to play around with your logo file and adjust the dimensions, maybe it's transparency, as your logo may not look great with all the store designs. Uh, and of course, you can always hire us if necessary to give you a hand with that. Okay, choose UI framework. Now this is a bit complex and this is really more for web developers and web designers. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, hold your breath, it'll be done in a few seconds. Our system uses two different design frameworks. One is called jQuery UI, which is managed by Google, and another one is called Bootstrap, which is actually was originally created by Twitter. Now it's, both of these are considered open source frameworks. They are standards, they've been in use for a couple of years now. And if you don't know what we're talking about, again, this is something designed to be used by web designers and web developers. But the point is, is our system supports two different UI frameworks, jQuery UI and Bootstrap. The default is jQuery UI. And jQuery UI will work best with most of our design templates. If you choose a design template and it's not working well or not looking great, you can try adjusting the uh, UI framework to Bootstrap. Now, just a quick note about Bootstrap. Bootstrap is what's called a responsive design framework. In other words, it was created so that you can have one set of code look great on the desktop, on a mobile phone, and also on a tablet. All right, so that's basically the strategy that we have for, uh, for mobile phones and for tablets as well, is using the Bootstrap framework. 
Now, our, our design templates are always evolving. And um, again, it's going to take some tweaking to get it to look great. All right, catalog color theme name. The catalog color theme name, you can see here, we've got about 20 different designs. These come from what's called jQuery UI. So if we go back to the catalog here and we click, or sorry, the demo store, and we click on catalog, you can see the color theme in use is blues and yellows. So you can see here it says blues, or I guess blues and whites. So this design theme, oops, the catalog design theme that we're using is called Redmond. Well, let's change it to something really obvious, like mostly green. We call it Le Frog. Okay. If I go back and I refresh this page, you're going to see that the whole catalog will change to green. So that's the catalog theme. Now the catalog theme is actually used for the majority of the pages up until checkout. In other words, your shopping cart, your part number search. So that's a very, very important theme to choose. And you can see here, you know, there's about 20 different ones. Now we also have a checkout color theme. You can see we had them both set to Redmond. In fact, I'm going to put that back to Redmond. But you could change the catalog or the, the checkout color theme as well. And you do that from here. Anytime you make a change, you hit save. All right, and it's a good idea to get into the habit of testing each simple change you make to make sure you didn't break anything. All right, boot swatch theme name. Now, boot swatch themes, okay, work with the boots strap framework, okay? And this is the equivalent of the catalog color theme. So if I'm using bootstrap, the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is change to one of these color themes. And again, the idea here is that you would change it, go test, go back and forth, and let's just see how that works, okay? So you can see the fonts change quite a bit. All right, if I go back, we can change it to, oh, I don't know, spruce. Let's give that a whirl. So as you can see, it's changing the top, okay? But the catalog theme itself is still looking a little bit like the jQuery UI. That's because they actually can work in conjunction. So I guess you could say when you choose, when you're using the bootstrap UI, it's actually wrapped around the jQuery UI. Hopefully that's clear. So you should play with the different combinations of the UI framework and the catalog and the color theme, as well as the boot swatch theme names. Now we do all of this to make it easy to change how your site looks without having to do any HTML coding. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the catalog part listing styles. As you can see here, we are defaulting to style 10 and the by panel style nine. All right, so if I go look at a search result, this is what we refer to this area here where I'm drawing the square around is what we refer to as the part listing style. Okay. The by panel is this area. So you can see we have 11 different by panels, sorry, 11 different part listings styles and 10 different by panels. So if I choose style one, and I hit save, and I come back to my search result, and I hit refresh, you'll see that this will change. Give it a second for the search result. Okay, and you can see it changed quite a bit, right? Now I can also go back here and I can change the search result style and hit save, and come back to the panel and hit refresh. And now this box will change the way that this result lays out. Quite a bit different. So you can make your site look very different by playing with these various styles. Now for the remainder of the settings you see on the design tab, they may or may not work with each template that we have. It really depends on when the template was created, which framework was in use, and whether or not it actually made sense. So don't get frustrated if you enter in some of the uh, values that you see here on the screen and they don't work with your particular design template. Okay, so the remaining fields, image height and image width, these will control the height and the width of the product thumbnails that you see within the site. Okay, the jQuery UI version, I would say this is an, an advanced setting. So if your design is forced to use an older version of jQuery, you could actually type in the version ID there. 
um, allow template linking. So if you if you put a true value in here, you can actually create a URL that uses a specific one of your custom templates. I would call that also an advanced setting and an advanced feature that we don't need to discuss at the moment. And finally, forward URL. Sometimes a, a client will want to redirect his site to a specific page on the home page. In other words, they don't want to use index.www.s. Index.www.s happens to be the uh, home page of all of our stores, no matter what design template you're using. So let's say, for example, you wanted the home page to be the shopping cart for some weird reason. I could type in here shopping cart.ws, hit save. And when I go to the store settings and we take off the page, so this is basically be, let's call it the, the default URL, the system will automatically redirect it to the shopping cart. That's because I typed in shopping cart. Let's say I wanted it to go to, oh, I don't know, how about the contact us page? I could say contact.ws and hit save. And now every single time I go to the home page, it's going to redirect to whatever page I've typed in there. Okay, so that's a way to override what the home page is. Normally it would be empty. Okay, so that about wraps up our discussion about using the design tab of store settings. In other videos, we'll have more of a more help with regards to the designer guide, which is more detailed programming and design work, as well as our file manager and our template editor. Lots and lots and lots you can do with the design of your website.